Okay, so this is the uh, very last one um, that I got here that I'm got the DVDs. Uh, very last. So this one here is um, I never forget the last 72 hours of Leonard Skinner. Um, so this, uh, this here I found was a very interesting, uh, interesting document, like it's, uh, kind of like a documentary, so it's based on the book, um, I guess it's a book as well, um, called, um, Never Forget, so about Leonard Skinner. So, this here, pretty much, um, <clears throat> is about the height of fame in 1977. Um, when the popular southern rock band Leonard Skinner, when they had the uh, plane crash uh, that happened um, in 1977, and they talk about like tw uh, 72 hours before that happened, so that's what, uh, three days before that happened. Um, talk, and pretty much it all, it goes to that, it all pretty much starts off with... Um, how they formed at first, the beginning of it. So they were like in, I believe, high school when they formed the band. Sometime in high school, I believe it was, when they formed the band. Um, and then how they got the name Leonard Skinner um, was quite interesting, I found, how they got that name. Because they, they, had a, they had a gym teacher, right? He was called Leonard. And then his last name was Skinner, right? So, <clears throat> they thought about, oh, well, you know, they named the band after that. Um, but, yeah, it pretty much talks about <clears throat> how they formed. And they formed way, way back in uh, 1964. So, they were, like, in high school, I believe, around that time, like, grade 10, maybe, grade 10, about that. And about all the other members joined, you know. And over the years, they had different members join the band and, and stuff like that. Um... And then talking about when they, I think it was in 19, when was it? They were like playing gigs around like in the late 60s, mid 60s. I believe they might have played at a high school dance or some something like that. And then in like 19, I think it was 1971, they started doing demos, um, trying to get that around, trying to, to get a recording contract around I'm thinking 71, 72, um, and around that time, they've been around for about seven, eight years, um, and then around 1973 was when they had the first, first, um, album of, so it kind of went from there, and then all of a sudden, then it went to 1977, and then it was like 20, <clears throat> Then it talked about 72 hours before the plane crash. And then um, they were getting, you know, on the, about to get on the plane to play. I forget where they were playing, somewhere. And um, talking about that, that the, they stopped. Because the plane, when, they were, when the plane was up in the air, um, flying, and all of a sudden they could see, like, this smoke coming out of the... Uh, out of the plane, you know, the, so when they were, they seen the smoke coming, or flames or something, then all of a sudden, then had to, then they stopped, and then, um, one of them didn't want to get on, he thought, no, I'm not going to, you know, get on, because he wanted to take a, either, you know, like a, a bus or something to their gig, right, because I think they were going to a gig, and, um, so somehow, you know, all of them went on, and then, and then all of a sudden, when they were going, all of a sudden, uh, the um, airplane was going crazy, right? And then all of a sudden, it crashed into into uh, into the woods there. And um, I think a couple of them survived, and the lead singer didn't. As well, I believe the lead singer didn't. And then the uh, one of the guitarists, and then one of the backup singers... Um, and then I believe the road manager as well, and maybe the pilot or something, and unbelievable, it was crazy, um, 
and then they were talking about that and that i guess it was it was when that happened it was like october of nineteen seventy seven when that happened and i guess you know was on the news and everything oh crazy but yeah pretty much talks about how that happened not twenty four hours be your seventy two hours before you know how and it was just unbelievable hard to believe but yeah it all starts about you know how the band pretty much formed and and stuff like that and where they were playing and I think like I said in 1971 they started doing demos and 73 was when they got their first album out but yeah it was unbelievable what happened just crazy man um, because one of them, when they, you know, didn't want to go on a plane, like I said, and wanted to decide to, well, take a bus or whatever, right, or a car to get to the next, you know, where they were going to play a gig. And, um, but for some reason they didn't, they got on the plane and just unbelievable. Um, and they talked about, you know, the history, all about the band, you know, and how they formed and stuff like that. And craziness um yes it was unbelievable um what happened i guess you know like i say it was on the news when that happened back in the day in 77 october of 77 and um unbelievable and then that 77 that happened and i think the band was done for a bit until i think it was like 87 then his brother ronnie van zandt the lead singer because he died in the plane crash, and well as the backup singer, um, backup singer and one of the guitar players, and um, the road manager, and just unbelievable. Um, you know, I think it was 87, then his brother took over, um, Bonnie Van Zandt's brother, um, took over the lead vocals um, in 1980. I believe it was 87 or something and then they released later on they released more albums over the years but the original like i said nothing like the original lineup like from their first album and so on um but yeah they only released the original lineup only released um, from 1973 until 77 they only released i believe five studio albums and one live album um but yeah, that was just unbelievable. It was a tragedy. Watching this was like, uh, yeah, how can I put it? You know, like watching it was hard. It was, uh, yeah, it was unbelievable. Like hard to believe, man. Um, it was sad, really. The if you're, you know, watch it, it is. Uh, um, but um, interest, you know, how it's just unbelievable. Um, about the plane, and actually, you know, it, it did show footage of, uh, the news footage of when that happened in October of 77, um, you know, it's just unbelievable, um, craziness, um, but, yeah, and in 77, like, that was the end for the band until, like I said, 87, and then they did release over the years after that, like, in 87, I believe they released a live album, and then sometime in the 80s, they released later on in the 90s, I think they're still making music, um, because his brother took over, Ronnie Van Zandt's brother took over in, uh, 19, the late 80s, and then they kept going, um, I think they're still performing, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, like I said, it's nothing like the original lineup. That's what I like, the original lineup. Um, but yeah, it was a tragedy. Uh, yeah. But yeah, as you know, talking about what happened on the plane, it was just, man, hard to believe, man. Um, great, you know, like... Southern rock band, very famous band, when that happened and was on the news, people were like, couldn't believe it. And then they had people talking about, they remember when it happened, and people that lived not far from when it happened, because when the plane was coming this way, 
it was going up, I think, a swamp or something, and all of a sudden it just crashed like in the, I think it was in the woods. And um, just unbelievable, very sad. Um, but, yeah, if you ever get the chance of watching this, and it's, it, but, yeah, it pretty much starts off about how they formed and stuff like that. And then eventually, then it goes to 72 hours before that happened, what happened before that. Um, just unbelievable. Anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up. So this is the last one that I do have. So let me know what you think. And uh, hope you enjoyed all of them so far. So thank you very much for watching. Greatly, greatly appreciate it for that. Um, and all you people supporting my channel. So thank you very much. And uh, bye.